What's good, YouTube? So we are back with Dragon Age Inquisition, and you know what? Let's talk about crafting. So you want to go to Haven? You want to be in Haven? Um, to do this, and ideally, you want to do this like when you first go to Haven and you first control your character. I didn't, so I'm just now like coming back around when I've decided to craft a few things. And uh, you have to talk to the three. Um, you have to talk to the quartermaster, the uh, the smith, and the apothecary for your potions. Because you can't, you don't just craft weapons and armor. You can also craft potions and upgrades for your potions and things like that. So it's called Haven's Best and Brightest. So let's see what uh, this person wants. Okay, so um, I've already listened to that before, so I'm not going to show you guys that um, this time. Just know that just know that you can ins inspect requisitions right here. Um, this is for a tapestry. Okay, so that's um, that's her. So now you want to come down here. Hold on, let me go over this way. And let's talk to the apothecary. So here we are in the apothecary. Find recipes through exploration or by visiting merchants. Visit an apothecary with herbs you gather in the wilderness to upgrade potions. So that's what all of that, all of that, all those herbs, the elf root, the blood lotus. That's what all of that stuff is for. Use the equipment station to assign different potions. Okay. So here we can upgrade potions and equip potions. Thank we have so many injured. So I just acquired a quite a recipe for a regeneration potion just by talking to him. So you definitely want to talk to him first and uh I'm going to show you guys the upgrades. So you have potions, tonics, and grenades. Tonics is just like are like buffs. It sounds like potions, you know, heal you, of course, and or, or enhance magic. And grenades are self-explanatory stuff. Stuff you throw. Now, right now, I only have one grenade called Antiven Fire. Um, spread sticky fire at the target location, causing forty-six burning damage every second to enemies inside the fire the fire remains so it's a it's a dps attack uh 46 burning damage you can get this if you go to the hinterlands and you want to talk to the merchant in this this little town this is sort of like the first little town you come across when you uh start out in the outskirts camp and you go down that hill this is like the first little town you want to talk to that merchant because he'll sell you with some antiven fire um, and that's how I got it. So let's go back here. Go back to the grenades and even fire. And look, just look at all of this stuff you can upgrade here. Increase damage, increase damage to increase duration and shockwave. And you just some of these things I haven't even come across yet. Um, I imagine there's there's stuff that you can't just get in the hinterlands. There's stuff you gotta get from other parts of for uh Thetis. Um 22 blood lotus i've only come across a few of those and i haven't come across a lot of them so we have to we can't really do anything with regards to this yet we need more blood lotus we need a lot more blood lotus and then shock wave targets at the initial explosion are stunned for five seconds so we have some more grenades we have to discover first then you have tonics. I don't have any tonics, so there's no point in looking at that. And then, of course, potions. This is your regular healing potion. This is the regeneration potion that I just got. Um, restores 26 health every two seconds for 60 seconds. Um, very good uh, if you're in a tough battle. So this increases the duration. I have enough for both of these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have enough for both of these. Increase the duration by eight seconds and increase the healing um amount per three seconds 
so this is life war double the healing amount the users is below 25 percent you need some non embryo i have some embryo i only have eight though the other two i have no clue where they're at again that just requires more exploration so before i do that for the regeneration potion let me go to the healing potion first and i don't have enough elf root i need nine more health elf root to to use this so i'm definitely going to upgrade the regeneration potion um i think i think i'm gonna increase the duration because my guys don't you know well i'm yeah, i'm gonna increase the duration for right now so that it lasts longer and you see now i need 16 more elf fruit and another royal elf fruit to uh, increase the healing. So I've, 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 I've upgraded the regeneration potion. No more potions to look at. And if you go here, well, I have Antivan Fire right here. I can switch that out with uh, the regeneration potion. So here you see here, you this is where you equip the potions. There's three slots. One is still locked. I have access to the second one. Um... You just replenish them. And to replenish them, that requires, you know, that requires herb. You know, so now I need more blood lotus to just replenish the Antivan fire. But, uh, you can switch it out too. I'm going to switch it out with the regeneration potion. And now you see, it says you need one elf root. I have two. So only I can only I need more elf root immediately, badly. I only have two of those. So that's um that's upgrading that's uh upgrading and crafting for potions. Some more reading material. Chest. got some scout mail personal locket this is for rogues only so let's see Varric is a rogue So this will definitely help him out a lot. So I'm going to give him this. You want to you want to take time to make in a game like this, you want to take time to make your um Hold on getting distracted once again by the tons of stuff to do in this game Thank you. so okay i'll read that i'll read that later so i was saying you want to take the time to really upgrade your guys because you don't want to get to a point where no you're just weak and you can't you can't properly defend yourself against against optional enemies i think if you were just playing like the main storyline it would be fine but you know if you want to do a lot of optional stuff you want to upgrade your armor and your weapons and things like that so this is the stable outside of haven and here you can see the different mounts that you have access to um that i haven't gotten yet there are there are exotic mounts like there's just a ton of stuff So just by talking to him, I was given um, a schematic for some type of mail, and uh, I have to craft some armor. So you can craft armor and weapons over here, by the way. So I think the first thing I'm going to look, show you guys, is um how to... Let me craft first. 
So this is what I got. This is um what he just gave me. The defender mail. Um I already have something similar to that. This is the the defender coat. So you, you it comes with the it comes with the chain mail and like a jacket over it. And the, you see the here up at the top the, the armor rating is 92. Now if I go to my inventory, you know, you can see that the armor I have on now is 67. It has a 67 armor rating. So this stuff that I can craft right here is much better than what I currently have on. Um, And it's actually even better than what he just gave me. I, I believe I found the schematic out in the wilderness, out in the wild. So, like, you just want to, you want to do a lot of exploring because you'll come across schematics and things like that. There are five different types of crafting slots. Utility, offense, defense, damage, and armor. The type of slot determines the stat that will be regenerated from the material placed in it. For example, placing iron in a defense slot gives a bonus to melee defense while putting it in the utility slot gives it a bonus to strength. So, you want to experiment with, uh... The different things that you have so i have drake stone iron and serpent stone now the type of metal you use also dictates the color like you can see here the color of the chain mail is red because i'm using drake stone if i take it to serpent stone it's it's green um but you can see here what slot is this this is the armor slot so I think I'm going to use the Drake stone. I'm going to use the Drake stone for this. And I could double down on the Drake stone and it would give me plus four constitution. Because this is a utility slot. If it was an off offense slot, I would get armor penetration, you know, defense slot plus 10 health. Or I can use the iron and get plus 10 strength. And Serpent Stone gives me plus 10, 10 strength too. Um, I'm going to use the Serpent Stone simply because I have more of it. And the iron may come in handy for something else. So now you hit craft. And I have a strong defender coat now. And you can even rename it. I'm going I'm to I'm leave the name as is for right now. So there's nothing else left for me to craft armor wise. So you just go back to the inventory. You can now see that I have some armor available. 92. Look at the boost. Now, I do take a hit in my health. Uh the health department, but I, I like I I'd rather right now need with the, the, the potions and stuff like that. I, I think I can survive that. I will I need more. I need more armor right now, more than anything. So let's look at modifications. Uh, modifications to armor. You can freely remove uh, and add existing upgrades. So this is the coat that I just created. Um, there are no upgrades available right now for anything. So that means I need to. I need to do more exploring. I need to get more stuff because you can see here you can add, you know, um, something to the arms and the legs and that you it actually it's it's a visual upgrade so you'll see it actually on your character so i want to go over to craft weapons Let me... so here i have a reinforced shield i have a fire rune um i can't i can't i don't think i can create runes right now I'm still needing some leather for this. I can do a reinforced shield though. 
and it has a 15 armor rating let's see what armor rating the current shell i have is so this has an armor rating of eight so that's not it's not good i want something better than that i said in the very first video that i wanted a new shield wanted to craft a new shield well now i'm about to and again this is just basically deciding what color you want it to be really i'm gonna keep the red thing going use this drake stone so look at this plus 40 maximum health if i use if i double down on the drake stone that is just awesome plus four percent melee defense plus four percent melee defense i like so you saw i took a health hit when i used when i uh crafted that armor that coat the defender coat so now i'm gonna double down on the drake stone to boost up my health again and uh i don't think i'm in need of a dagger right now and this other stuff um i don't have enough schematics for i mean not schematics i don't have enough uh items for i definitely want to get this though 108 dps a leaf mace i need i need to really think about either i'm sending cassandra or carbin down the two-handed tree i know i said that before but i really need somebody that can do a whole lot of damage i'm missing that right now so go over to the inventory go to weapons put this shield what it says it won't help me hmm Well, that sucks. Well, at least you know how to craft it. I may have, I'm gonna have to end up selling that. Unless I can modify it. Which apparently I can't. So the most, the well, I can uh, upgrade the grip. Uh, well, I can't, but uh, there's a slot for it. And a slot for a room, too. So. So right now, um, again, like you can... You can see here, you can upgrade the grip, the staff blade, the in like a room. Like the, you can really just add anything to it. Um So that's basically it. Like that's that's the main things I wanted to show you guys like you right now. Um Oh wow. Defender coat arms. This upgrade can only be attached to heavy armors. Get out of my way. Okay, this this is just Goodbye. Right. This guy literally has he has me completely trapped. I can't get out. Move. Man, what the heck? And if I hit X, it's gonna trigger. It's gonna trigger the dag on uh Dialogue, move out my way. Okay, so cool. Because of that loot I just got, I can uh upgrade his heavy arms 
And you can see here, you can see how there's a change, a visual change. It's going to give me um 3% melee defense. So, that's basic crafting and upgrading. Um, you definitely want to do as much exploring as possible. And if you come across anything, I say pick it up. You never know what you're going to need it for. Don't make the mistake of just seeing something and, and saying, okay, well, this is kind of just a waste of time. He has absolutely nothing for sale. I'm gonna sell him some of my items that I don't need anymore, like that that thing that I crafted that I, that I can't use. So um, I'm gonna make a, a more advanced, um, a more detailed crafting um, guide later, as I, I'm gonna start recording exactly where I find some of these items, so um, I can show you guys exactly where to find some of this stuff, and especially if I come across certain schematics in certain um certain rare items um i'll definitely be making videos about that too so that was my crafting video stay tuned for more